Hey everybody, welcome to your beautiful table. Today we're going to talk about the Diptyque Tuberose Candle, so stay tuned. Thanks everybody for coming on back. If you're new to the channel and you like content about home fragrance, tabletop decor, glassware, china, silverware, uh, flowers, those kinds of things, you're in the right place. Consider subscribing. We'd love to have you. So today we're going to talk about the Diptyque Tuberose Candle. Diptyque is a quintessential luxury candle brand. I mean, it is primo and there are a lot of diehard fans. Um, several months ago, I think uh, for Valentine's Day, uh, my mom sent a little bit of money and I splurged on a set from Diptyque that included the tuberose candle. So I'll share that with you. Oh, by the way, I am burning Bath and Body Works Rose Water and Ivy, which is a classic here. I just, I love this candle and so I'm burning it here. Um, but the Diptyque set came in this uh, three box set. It's a nice, clean, lovely presentation. I've got some smudges on it since it's been around, but it's really cool. It opens up like this. It's lovely. And then there's this little satin ribbon that you can use to help um, take the, the boxes out. I got uh, cypress, figuier, and tuberose. Uh, so it's uh, cypress is sort of a pine um, scented. Uh, figuier is fig tree, and then uh, tuberose is a tuberose, which is a, a heady floral. And so this was a fun blend. Uh, I've shared videos about cypress and figuier, and so I'm now bringing you this tuberose. So actually, let me just pop out these boxes so you can see. So the tuberose box looks like this. It's super simple. Diptyque keeps it very classic with the cartouche there. You know, Diptyque on the top. And then they've got uh, the names of the, um, uh, it says tuberose in a lot of different languages because this is just a brand that's really popular around the world. And then, you know, it's just got lots of warnings and all kinds of fun stuff. But uh, when you open the box, the box, uh, is white on white with a uh, black font there and then there's a little bit of uh, cardboard protection in there so the votive will sit right down it's just a like clean simple presentation but i love the way that all three of these uh came in the box it just makes for a really lovely uh, gift set so the price point on this set was about a hundred dollars and so you know for valentine's day a birthday anniversary gift if you're struggling for figuring out what you want uh, to get someone who is a fragrance or candle fan, this is great. This is a way for them to try something new, maybe something that they, they haven't, or mix and match you know, some of their favorites. So pay attention uh, to those of you who have candle lovers in your life. Uh, you can, like, this is like a perfect uh, birthday uh, gift. So, tuberose here. Uh, so it's interesting because this tuberose, there's the cartouche sticker. There's no outline, um, you know, of any plastic there. It's a nice a sticker, but I'll share with you all the, the wax color on this. Here's the cypress. It's nice and white. And here is, oh, if I can do figuier, it was also a pretty white wax. You can see that there's just some, you know, little bit of wax. This one burned down a ton. Um, but tuberose, I don't know if it's the oil or the mix, has this buttery or creamy um, kind of a, a yellow uh, appearance, which is not bad. I mean, it's just the way that the candle looks. Um, some of the candles, like I think uh, Figuier or uh, Faux de Bois from Diptyque have a little bit of color. And so I don't know if it's the oils or this one's intentionally uh, colored. Um, but it's just a, it's a nice creamy uh, color. Again, so this is a single wick. Um, this is a votive size. I think it's 2.4 ounces. Um, and, and so there's this set, uh, $100 for the set. So you're getting it like at $33 or so um, per each one of these candles. And the 2.4 ounce candles have a burn time of about 30 hours. So it's you know definitely a luxury brand it's a splurge a special treat these are perfect for powder rooms bathrooms end tables small spaces where you don't want a ton of fragrance but just enough uh, to really enjoy now i'll share with you all that on cold the fragrance intensity on this i get the tuberose scent here in a nice scent bubble even though there's not a lot of wax still left so these are highly fragranced candles that you can even enjoy on cold just place it on an end table or a small table and you can still enjoy 
the fragrance. Now, when it is lit, this tuberose candle had a nice fragrance intensity and throat. It was a room filling fragrance that um, really didn't permeate the whole house, just not enough volume for the fragrance here. And so uh, nice room filling fragrance, especially a smaller room if you have it in a, uh, a keeping room, a music room, a den or a formal area, uh, that would be great in a large den or a, a larger room. It might um, just fade into the background a little bit. So definitely one that you can enjoy in a smaller room or up close uh, at this size. Now, if you want to get a little bit more uh, candle intensity, of course, you can get a little bit bigger, larger wax pull, more fragrance in, in the air. You can see that the candle performed pretty well. You know, uh, diptych candles uh, are these high quality wax candles and they leave a little bit of uh, wax on the outside, but it melted down uh, really well. This as a one wick and this votive size creates a, a wax pull really quickly. Uh, sometimes diptych candles and the regular classic candle size are relatively slow to pull out, but these and the votive size, you know, it, it pulls out in, you know, a matter of minutes, you know, 15 to, to 20 minutes or so. Um, you want to watch these because uh, when I, on the other candles, um, these uh, one wicks, they can uh, get, the, the flames can get pretty high. So uh, I think that there's a little bit of proportion that's off here. They're using uh, maybe a wick that's a little bit too large for the size of the votive. Um, and so the, you know, you want to like always burn them in sight, uh, never let it burn for more than two hours and just keep your, your eye on it um, to be sure that the uh, candle flame um, doesn't get too high. But it's just something to really notice here that I haven't seen on the diptych um, larger candles in that, in that classic size. So uh, tuberose, y'all, um, so I think tuberose is a difficult scent to describe. Um, one of the cool things about the, um, these diptych candles is that the I would call it like a pure tuberose smell and so tuberose is a white floral um, and uh, it is really popular it's sort of similar to freesia but this is a headier sweeter white floral and so it's not bright and crisp something like uh, freesia or like a lily uh, lily of the valley or something like that where it's got the crispness uh, or almost like the like uh, tart uh, this is sweet and heady. It is um, uh, very perfumed and it's almost like it moves into like a jasmine, um, like I would say jasmine and almost like um, like an evening uh, smell. I think of it like um, uh, like a more of an, like an evening perfume. It's not like a daytime. If I were to like, you know, if you had your florals, like there's some um, bright like Estee Lauder's um, Beautiful is a nice bright floral fragrance. It's a perfume, but it's a floral fragrance. It's great for day. This would be something that I would say is like smokier, it's creamier, it's like sexier really, that I would um, like more identify with like an evening smell. But you know, tuberose is a great scent uh, for all times of the day, but it's definitely not um, bright. It is um, more sultry and uh, has a spicier um, uh, composition. And so the uh, tuberose fragrance really comes out. It, um, uh, to me, smells honestly like a tuberose. Like, yeah, they squeezed all the tuberose essence down in here. So a classic from Diptyque. You can't go wrong. Uh, it's uh, again, 2.4 ounces, 30 hours of burn time, a really great way to try tuberose. If you get it and you don't love it, you haven't spent a whole bunch of money on it and then it's a great way to try. You can mix and match those sets. You can order them online and it's a great way uh, to try it out. So uh, the candle performance is good. The candle fragrance is good. The candle throw is good. And that's what you'd expect from, you know, the like a world-class uh, candle. So friends, thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you're new to us, you may not know that we have a newsletter that I haven't sent in a long, long time. And so, but the newsletter is the way that I keep up with our mailing list. And so I choose winners for free candle stuff from our mailing list. Uh, so sign up for our newsletter below and I will send periodically, a few updates about the videos that we're doing on here and other things that I'm thinking about. So friends, thank you for watching this video about the Diptyque Tuberose Candle and we'll see you next time.